Okay. I'm doing this again. I did this I did this once because I was trying to um, show you how this how this works and I didn't really care for my uh, Camtasia and I had Vitality over in the uh, personal view forum sent me a link to this other software called Flashback Express 5 and I really like it a lot. Um, it's really cool software anyway not to change the subject but I'm Typically, I like to ramble on, and I'll probably change the subject. But this is a—I'm going to show you how I use um, the rate stretch tool in Premiere, and I use it a lot. And I was hoping that this tool is available in Edius. Um, I know that's—it's it's kind of like two subjects in one here. I've got a subject of rate stretch tool and Edius and Premiere, so that's why the title says. Premiere and Edius from Rage Dress Duel. <laughs> That's why that way, the title is what this is. So basically, um, how how I use it, how I use this tool a lot, is if you see the timeline here, what I've got is I've got a single camera here. I had two cameras and somebody stood in front of the other camera. So I saw them in front of it and I wasn't at the other camera, so I couldn't get the other angle facing the, the couple. Or actually, that camera was facing her. I was originally facing the couple. The camera was over there to my side. So I basically had to use one camera and pan from this girl singing to the couple who was watching. So if you see, it pans real fast to the couple watching her sing. And then they look at each other and then it pans back to her. Right there. So that's where I would want it. I moved, it moves back and forth because I'm trying to get it to go. So basically I need to make this section longer I want to get rid of these pans see the pan it's not it's not pleasant looking it zooms across so how you do that how I do that in Premiere right now is an invaluable tool called the rate stretch tool basically what it does is stretches out the video to fit a certain um, size so basically I split the clip I use a th I, I use my mouse I use a thumb button on my mouse to split the clip it's um control k or something i forget what the you can look in the keyboard shortcuts and find out what it is that's another thing i like about idios is the keyboard shortcuts are listed beside each thing in the in the drop down menu so you can see what they are i forgot what it was but that's i have control k for splitting a clip if the clip is highlighted it'll split the one clip if no clips are highlighted it'll split all of them or i can drag a box and split all of them see i just split all of them there i want to undo that though I just want just the video split. So the video split there, and then I go over and you can either drag it over like this to the point that I want it, or you can split it and just delete it. So there it goes back. So it goes there to them, and they're looking, and then they look back. Then the camera starts moving. So split, and I can even do this like right there. And then I can just, it's already highlighted, just hit delete. So now I have this clip and I want to stretch it to fill this area. But I want it to fill the area by slowing down. Now in, in Edius, I know you can do it by slowing it down in Edius. But you have to like drag it above and then change the speed duration and guess at what speed you want the clip. In Premiere, there's a tool over here, this tool right here. Actually, it says Ripple Edit Tool, but if you click it and then click uh, R, it changes over to the Rate Stretch Tool, or you can push down on it and go down to Rate Stretch Tool right there. So you click R, Rate Stretch Tool, and this tool here turns into this little diagram, this little thing. It looks like a line through back and forth. What it does is it stretches, you grab the clip on the end, if I can grab it and stretch it out to each side and if you'll notice right here I'll zoom in it's changed the speed to 65.63 percent it automatically adjusts the speed to fit that duration to fit that area so this is super valuable I use this tool constantly if you right click the clip choose time interpolation and click optical flow now it's going to use optical flow and because this couple's just sitting still, they're not a lot of movement, they're not doing anything, it's just a cut of a shot of a couple sitting still, 
you can't hardly even notice that it's been slowed down, especially it's only slowing it down 63%. So if I hit play now, and you can see this girl singing, who I don't think is all that great, but see, it goes to them. You can't tell. It looks like a like two cameras, like one was on them and one was on her. They look aside. There's a little bit of slow motion, but you can't hardly tell. They won't notice it, and then it goes back to her. So that's exactly what we wanted in Edius. That's what I want in Edius to do. This tool, I use it at least a dozen times per project, at least. Sometimes even more than that. I got a ceremony. Both cameras are panning. So I might find the one that panned the fastest and use that little section of a clip. Now, if these, if this couple was talking, you wouldn't want, because their lips would go different. You know, so you have to, you have to look when the, you're slowing it. You have to look at what it is. They have to not be, you know, facing the camera. You can't do it like with a talking head, because they're facing the camera. You have to slow down the the other clip that's not talking. But you could pan to like a product so you could show somebody talking and then pan to a product and then slow the product down and you know to fill the gap and you'd never notice that it's been slowed down so in edius it has let's go back over let's go over to edius i installed edius on here and this is the other thing i want to talk about i made it this other video and i um i'm making it uh, this is the trial of edius I put on here but I made this other video explaining the things that I liked about Edius and I kind of rambled through it and I made it to it was kind of you know it was last night I was in a hurry so the the things about Edius is there's a there's a version of Edius called Edius home they're coming out with Grass Valley's Edius there's a home version um, and the home version is like two hundred and twenty dollars or something like two hundred and forty dollars or something, and that's awesome. That's a one-time fee. You pay it once. You own the software. You never have to buy it again. You never have to do any of that again. You just pay it once. You don't have a subscription. There's not a monthly fee. You're done, basically. Okay, so here's Edius. I'm over here in the corner. Here's Edius, and um, like this, I I put it back on here to test it out with 4K footage. And I just wanted to see how it how it worked with 4K, and it looks fantastic. I mean, it plays back. This is 4K at 60p, slowed down using time remapping. So there's there's pretty cool time remapping features. If you go to if you um, go here to properties, you'll see this is 4K, 3840 by or UHD at 60p, shot with a GH5. It's 4208 bit because, you know, that's a limitation. It can't do 10 bit at 60p, but pretty nice. It's got the natural profile on it. So I usually use natural profile when I'm shooting because I like to do some color grading. So this is, again, just regular footage. Um, there's no, there's a speed, like you can right click a, a clip and choose duration. And change the duration or you can right click a clip and choose time effect speed time remap freeze frame field options so if you pick time remap this is the thing I've got to I've got to practice on because I'm not real good on how the time remapping works there's two there's two things here that you drag out like to change and it like puts a but it's not very intuitive they need to work on this because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense I'm assuming it's gonna go faster or slower during this it's like I can't tell is it speeding it up I can't tell what it does I have to um, initial, initialize I'm gonna reset it but um, if you go to time effect speed you can change it to a change the clip duration on timeline right and you can direction forward, backward, speed. You can change the rate. You can change the speed by dragging the number. So I can say I want it at, say, 60, 68%. But it doesn't fill the gap. It just shortens the clip. I'll show you. So, in other words, in other words, let's drag it over here so you can see. 
my goodness I'm trying to get this to fit in here okay so in other words this clip here let's say this clip here I have this clip and say it was shorter let's say it was like this we're gonna do the exact same thing I did there I'm gonna make this clip shorter say this is the total length of the clip the end of the clip is here and I want it to fill this gap if I right click and choose speed speed it's at a hundred percent if I drop it down to say 76 percent it's see it pushed the clip past it now it pushed this clip over so if I had stuff in sync it's not going to be in sync and now it's it made it longer the duration longer than the duration of the clips that I needed it's just not very efficient delete gap um, it's just not very efficient it's it works and it has um, See time effects, speed, field options. See there's frame blending, optical flow. So you click OK. Now it's got optical flow on it. It has a red line because it doesn't know if it's going to work. And it doesn't. It starts dragging. But see my buffer was at at one. So the Edius has a buffer. You can hold Shift and hit the space bar, and it'll. If you look down here at the bottom, stop moving that. It fills the buffer before it starts playing because I'm on the clip. See, it drops down fairly quick. So you can render this out. See? But it made it through. Anyway, this clip here, Edius handles everything great. So this clip here is, um, it's a 4K 3840 by 2160 UHD, but this is 422 10-bit. Plays it just fine in here. So, anyway, the, that's the thing I really wanted to, to stress about was the, the time remapping. And I wanted to show the differences in here. I don't see a tool for time remapping. But if you're looking for a software to edit your YouTube videos, Edius Home would be just absolutely, it would be perfect for that. And it's only a couple hundred bucks and, you're, and it's paid for for life. So next year you don't have to pay again. The year after you don't have to, you can keep it and run it forever. I've got old versions of Edius here. Like I, I've been with Edi, uh, Grass Valley Edius, Canopus Edius. This is Edius 1.0. This is version 1.0. Here's version 2.0. See the disc? That's Edius 2. The very second version. Here, oh, I gotta take it out of the plastic. Edius Pro 3. There's my Edius Pro 3 disc. So I've been with them for a long time. I stopped um, using it because I found some other tools that I liked in in Premiere better. Things like this rate stretch tool. So if they would add this, I don't know if they're going to in version nine or what. I don't know. Uh, any of you Edius guys, if you guys know, post in the comments below. Let me know if there's a way to do this other than, you know, moving the clip up, stretching it out. Like, in other words, so if I go edit, undo, that's control Z, which is typical. Control Z, control Z, control, okay. So control Z there. Now the speed has changed. Now it's back to the original speed. Now if I drag this up here and I do speed, I'll show you what I'm talking about. If I go speed up here and I make it say 63, now it's stretched out past. So now I can basically slide this over and then say, okay, now I want to make this shorter to here. And I could even say, okay, let's let's edit undo. Let's say um, now that it's right there at the beginning, I can go to uh, time effect speed and make it 63 64 65 see this is the this is the thing you're doing you're you're guessing at how how what the speed has to be 71 that's close 71 so you could shorten it right there and then drag it down and now it will go from there to the speed change and then from the speed change back to there so that works technically there's a way to do it, but it's a lot of hopping back and forth just to get it to do the same thing that Eddie, that Premiere does just by dragging the ends of the clip. So this is my little quick video.
um, let you guys let me know what you think um, if there's a way to do this in Edius I really like Edius it's one of my favorite it was always one of my favorite softwares um, but and I, I pay for I pay fifty dollars a month for Adobe Creative Cloud and I'm buying the uh, the jump grade to Edius to the new version nine just to have an extra editing software as a backup because you never know stuff happens and I don't want to be tied to a a you know perpetual license for an editing software it just doesn't make it just in some ways it just doesn't make sense it makes sense just to have, buy it and not have to buy it again so there you go all right YouTube I'm out